All right. Hey, welcome, everyone. Welcome. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Curse of Oak Island and Beyond live stream. I am your host, Jeff Freeman. And today we have a very special broadcast that we are doing for a charity. Today we have with us, we have Sherry and Dale Carney. We have oh, Stephen Guptill and we have Scott Barlow joining us. Welcome, everyone. Hey. Hey, hello. <clears throat> So as I was saying, this is for a very special uh, occasion. Uh, a, it's a charity, and I'm going to let, I think Stephen's going to start off, and he's going to help explain what this charity is all about. Stephen, go right ahead, well, sir. <clears throat> I'm going to let Dale do most of the explaining about what the charity is all about. I'm just going to explain how it got started. So a couple years ago, and Dale will let you know who it was, because I forget who it was, but somebody reached out from Christmas Daddies, and they actually reached out to Laird and I, and um, they asked us if we could be a part of a part of it in, in, in a small way so um this christmas time or i guess probably in the new year january february they reached back out and that's when the wheels got started and then i got set up with uh dale and sherry and it's been a a bit of a driving force ever since and i mean they really couldn't have set us up with two better people because to this point and it's only been a couple of weeks you can see what dale has done so it's been I mean, on our end, the only thing we really had to do was get some hats signed. And by the way, they're right here, so everybody knows we're real, because I do get a lot of questions about the hats. <laughs> the hats do exist. They do have almost everybody's signature on it. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's basically it. And it's a couple of weeks since it's been a far greater success than I ever could have imagined. You know, at the end, I was hoping each hat would get 1000 bucks, 1500 bucks, and one hat it looks like it's going to go for at least $10,000 at this point, so... Wow, that's yeah, Sherry and Dale have done a fantastic job, and and Scott's been a big supporter of that. You know, sharing stuff on his page and pushing it. So um, yeah, that's like really the gist of the gist of it, and how we got started and got rolling. And you know, the whole island knows about it now, and I think that's the big part of it. I mean, we talk about it. We sit in the research center. You know, the guys are all a part of the conversation. Craig, Rick, Marty, Scott, Doug, all of us. We talk about it, and it's become a part of a almost a daily conversation on the island. That's great. Like Steve that's said, great. I mean. We sit around and we talk about that when it first started. You know, we were thinking one or two thousand dollars per hat, and that was going to be big money, and everybody was pretty excited over that. I mean, look where you've taken this. It's, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, it really is. And it's so neat that the that the folks, like you said, uh, with with Dale and Sherry reaching out to the island, that all of you have come on board with this. And that's just fantastic. And then I know that they asked me if I could do a little piece. And I said, you know what, I'd be more than happy to. And, and if so what, whatever little piece that we can provide here with our group is just great. And I'm going to just kind of be quiet now and let you guys take the show. So thank you again for letting me be part of this and our group. And we really appreciate it. <clears throat> Yeah, the fundraiser is going amazing. Um, so far, the past couple of weekends, we've had some people want to, to match donations. It's I didn't think it was going to get this big, but um, every time we get every weekend, the past two weekends, was it? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. We've had someone say, if you can reach $1,000 this weekend, I'll match it. So we did it last weekend. We did it again wow. this weekend. And we're at 7600 right now. And he just wrote me again last night. And he said, tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., which, which is today, Yes, he said, if you can do another $1,000 today from 9 p.m. or 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., I'll give you another 1000 bucks. So actually, if we do 1400 today, we'll be at $10,000 for the hats. Wow. That's wow. Fantastic. wow. So, and he wants to do this again after this one. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to, he, he said, you guys will probably get about 15000 for one hat. That's awesome. Blowing, it's blowing us away. This is kind of like perpetual motion here. Yeah. <laughs> it's happened to, and we're getting a lot of people saying, "Do you know the guys in Oak Island?" Can I? it's like, no, yeah. it has nothing to do with Oak Island. They sign some hats. That's it. I said, "We're doing this for charity for Christmas Daddies." So, you, Dale, you should explain Christmas Daddies. I mean, so for me, Nova Scotia has two really big charities, or two really important charities. One being the IWK, which is a, a huge Field. children's hospital, yeah, and which we're also a supporter of. So Rick's big um, charity is the IWK, and so. You know, we've really brought in two charities now. And, and for me, the two big charities in Nova Scotia are the IWK and um, and Christmas Daddies. So exactly. uh, it, it's great that we can be a part of that on the island. And Dale's really helped push that. Dale and both Sherry. I mean, Sherry has a business, which and she's been supporting it through her business. So um, but, you, know, you have to look far and wide to find somebody whose life has not been affected in a good way by either the IWK or Christmas Daddies. I mean, they're, exactly. they're both great charities and they both do a lot of work. And this is yep. the 58th year for Christmas Daddies. They've been doing this for 58 years. We've got involved about five years ago. 
<clears throat> and uh, every cent that they raise goes to the Salvation Army. CTV donates the studio time. All the hosts, the staff, the camera people, they all do a volunteer. Performers. Performers, everything is volunteer. So 100% of everything raised goes to the Salvation Army. The Salvation Army takes nothing from it. It goes That's all great. the families and children that need a Christmas. I believe last year was six hundred thousand dollars. So that was about six thousand kids that they've helped. Wow. Can you? But explain it, Dale. Explain so people know what Christmas Daddies is because it is very much a maritime. It started in Nova yeah. Scotia thing. Now it's a maritime thing. You know, yeah. it's it's a uh, you know it basically it's a charity that acts like Santa Claus and gives children underprivileged children the chance to have a Christmas. Exactly. It started out as a little kid went into a bar and asked for cha for some spare change to buy some something for his family for Christmas. And it just went on from there and it's gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's unbelievable the stuff that they do that uh, they provide for people. Um, it's not only children too, it's families. I mean, if a family had approached the Salvation Army at Christmas and said, listen, I don't have anything for my kids for, for Christmas. I don't have any food for a Christmas dinner. They will provide that for them. And so I think every hundred dollars raised is a full Christmas for one child, wow. which is incredible. I mean, Sherry was a recipient of Christmas daddies. Yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah. I was a single parent a very long time ago, and um, it's hard as a single parent. And they donated a Christmas gift and a box of vegetables and turkey and potatoes. And they basically enabled me and my daughter to have a Christmas. Wow. And I That's mean, fantastic. That are the times that we're in with COVID and stuff. I mean, there's a lot of families that have been affected by that. There's people that have a lost lot. jobs. Cool. This year, you know, is, is a, a really big year. You know, I can't stress the importance of, of how uh, how important it is to give, you know, for this because this, this will be a hard year for a lot of people. It's going to be very difficult. There's a, there's a lot of people at work, a lot of people in financial distress. And, I mean, every single cent helps, which is which is why we keep pushing this fundraiser to, to bring in as much as possible. I mean, if we brought in twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000, I'd be... It, it, it all goes to the kids, and that's, yeah. that's what it's all about. It's not about us. It's not about anybody. It's about helping children. Yeah. It's the exposure, too. And I mean, in Nova Scotia, we've known about Christmas Day. We grow up with it. And you, yeah. you look forward to the, you know, it goes on with CTV every December the 4th type of thing. And everybody tunes in for it. It's the big charity here. And yeah. so just to get exposure for it. And, you know, may, if anything, maybe we can start other charities around the world or in the U.S. where somebody picks up and says, hey, it's. You know, there's a lot of children that don't get Christmases. Why don't we do something like this? Exactly. Yeah. There's a couple of communities in Nova Scotia that do it too, and they do quite well. They follow the same model as Christmas Daddies, but it's all needed. I mean, no child should go without a Christmas, in my opinion. And every single every every cent helps. But yeah. I like seeing it spreading around. And there's a lot of they get a lot of donations from the states um, because it's on YouTube. It's on it's online when it's when the telethon's going on. It's on CTV Atlantic. Uh, December, the first Saturday in December is when they usually hold it. And it's um, not funny either. I mean, you know, there's there's drop boxes where we, we take our kids shopping where they buy toys. They pick out toys to give and we go to McDonald's and drop it off in the, yeah. in the drop box for Christmas daddies. There's there's lots of there's a lot of different aspects to it. Other than yeah. that, I mean, if there's any way that people want to help, and you know, whether it's food or, or toys, whatever, there, there's there's ways to do that. One yeah. big thing they have now is the giant tiger is carrying the uh, Christmas daddies cattle, uh, calendars. They get a couple of kids to draw some pictures every year and they choose 12 of them, I think it is, to go in the calendar. And the calendars are $10. Um, every cent goes back to Christmas Daddies. And that's a huge, huge fundraiser for them. Um, the calendars are really nice, too. They're nice and big. I don't have one here. I was supposed to have one dropped off. But the, they're really worth it. They give you some discounts and stuff inside the calendar and everything. But it's, again, it's another great fundraiser for Christmas Daddies. Yeah. That's neat that there's so many different ways that you can give. Like like Scott was just saying, you can drop off toys, you can drop yeah. off gift cards, uh, all kinds of different things. You don't. It doesn't have to be just a cash donation, nope. but it can be as well. That's really neat. Yeah, and getting the word out there is what it is is the key to it. I mean, Christmas Day has got a large following, but it's getting bigger because of more technology changing and everything like that, which is great. I mean, the on air they do on air on TV, of course, here in the Maritimes, but you can watch it on CTV Atlantic on the first Saturday of December. And it's broadcast. You can watch it anywhere in the world. It's an amazing, so let's talk, an amazing charity. Let's talk about the, because you're going to fill me in on some of this information. When is the draw on the hat? And how's that going to work, Dale? The, what we're going to do, I was just telling Jeff about it. Every single person that, that donates $5 gets one entry into the draw for the hat. 
what we do is we're old school. So we put them all on a single piece of paper. Your name goes on a piece of paper. It goes mm -hmm. into a tote. This tote's going to be changed soon. Um, on De November 15th, we're going to do a random draw out of all the ballots. We're just going to pick one name out. And whoever wins it, we're going to write you through your GoFundMe, how you or, or however you donate it, and uh, get your address and all that fun stuff. And we're going to send it out to you. By, uh, it's going to be tracked by courier and everything like that. And you'll get a hat. We're going to do a so, live draw live, aren't we? We could do a live if you want. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think that's a good idea. Maybe we could come back on here and do it live, unless you guys haven't set up the CTV. Yeah. The if, second if, half, there's two halves. Need a place, it's, I, I offer up our, our place here to do it if you want to do it here. That's fine. Yep. So, Love so the winner of that draw gets to pick the hat they want. They can have the yellow one or the, I think it's purple, is it? Yes. yes. Yellow or purple. I would, call, I would call it, well, what is that? Pink or purple? Looks purple. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh, an argument. Where, there it is. Purple. So yep. the, the winner from that draw can pick the hat they want. The second hat is going to go on CTV Atlantic on uh, December 4th during the telethon. It's going to go to the highest bidder. So you can actually call in from anywhere. Um, they're going to take your bid. So if you bid 50 bucks or 5,000 bucks or whatever, whoever has the highest bid at the end of the telethon, which is usually 5 o'clock that you close for bids, is going to get that second hat. So that's how that works on the, on the second one. Well, I'm hoping I can win because I did my donation. I may have to do a couple more so I can. So each five dollars gets gets an entry. Every every five dollar donation gets an entry into it. Mm, okay. So we write them out. We write them out manually, and we just put them into the into the tote. And uh, at the end of it, we're going to do one random draw. We can we're going to do it live, I guess now. Yeah. And uh, pick one winner. That's awesome. And then we really? will pay for we'll pay for it to be shipped out to you wherever you are in the world. It doesn't matter. We're going to ship it to you, and it's going to be done by courier, so it doesn't get lost or. Anything like that, and it'll be insured and everything. So, because this is going to be a an amazing win for somebody. Anybody that's a fan of this show is going to be blown away by having a piece of memorabilia like that. Yep. yep. Yes. And then, and like you said, we were talking about earlier. So when they do find the treasure uh, on Oak Island, that hat is going to be priceless. That, that hat's going to be worth something <laughs> if they find it. when they find the treasure. It's going to be worth. It's going to be worth quite a bit. Yep. Exactly. Wow, that's really great. So, and this is uh, so the telethon. So, what you are doing with the fundraiser is you're getting the funds together, and then you are going to present at the telethon. Is that how that works? We're not sure how we're going to do it this year because the uh, you can't go into CTV because the studio's oh, closed because yeah. of COVID. Yep. So, I think what we're going to do is a check flip here at the house, um, which means we're going to get one of these big checks, mm -hmm. and then at the end of it, we're just going to they're going to send a, t a camera guy over, and then we're just going to do a reveal. They'll edit that into the show, and at one point, I'm not sure when, they'll just reveal exactly what we raised. So it'll be there for everybody to see. And it's on our, it's on the the uh, the fun the GoFundMe page too, exactly where we're at. Because every cent goes back into this, minus the GoFundMe fees, but everything everything raised goes into the uh, into the donation. Yeah, that's that's, and it, you know what? That's really important because so many times you we find you know, charities, some charities that you find that very few of the actual dollars that are donated or, or a, portion, a very small portion of each dollar actually goes to the charity. Most of it goes for administration. And like you had pointed out, all the crew for the show, for the telethon show, the crew at the TV station, everybody that's there, even the performers is yeah. all volunteer. So every dime goes to the Salvation Army and then on to the uh, Christmas daddies. That's fantastic. I mean, you, you just don't hear about things like that. No, it's, it's pretty amazing that, that it's done that way too. And I mean, you get performers that they ask for auditions and they, they get so many that they actually have to turn some down. Wow. Uh, it's, it's quite the operation. It's, it's, it's just an incredible, incredible charity. I think it goes on for like six hours, isn't it? It's something six or seven hours. It starts at 11 and goes until six. So it's seven yeah. hours Yeah. and they update wow. every hour and, and stuff like that. But it's uh it's, it's just amazing how they do it. And we're happy to be part of it. I mean, we've we've been watching them for years, and then we decided to get started with them, and it just went from there. And um, we do quite a bit of quite a bit of work with them now. So that's like four years you've been doing this with them, or something. Right. This is our sixth year oh, now. Yeah, oh, six sixth. Years. Wow, that's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, that's really cool. And for the folks on Oak Island to be part of it too, and that just helps to get the extra exposure. But I mean, for what you guys have done on Oak Island, and please tell everybody that how much we appreciate that. You know, all of them chipping in and signing those hats like that. It just makes us so much. It helps to get the exposure, of course, you know, which is good because this needs the exposure. We need to get the word out for this. It's really a great charity. And yeah. and just my hat is off to hats <laughs> off to mm -hmm. all of you for doing this. It's really great. 
Yeah, this is going to be this is going to be the biggest fundraiser we've ever done, and we've done a lot of them. And this is turning out to be the biggest that we've ever done. And we couldn't have done it without the guys from Oak Island. Yeah. I mean, this is just beyond anything we've ever expected. Between their tweeting and their posting and their donating <laughs> and and getting the hats and everything like that, it's just we couldn't thank them enough. It's just yeah. blown us away. Have the, the the kindness and generosity towards helping children in need. It's just beyond. Yep. I'm so crying. I get weepy all the time. <laughs> like yesterday with the donations, I almost cried. <laughs> She's laughing at me because we had a thousand dollar donation and then we got another thousand. And I was, I said to her, I said, I'm going to cry. I said, my eyes get oh, certain now. I just don't like seeing kids in need. And, and it's just, yeah. this is just makes my day when it happens. Yeah, that's absolutely sure. Yep. And there, and like you said, with COVID, you know, there's that much more uh, yeah. kids in need, you know, with the things with jobs and everything else happening. And it's really that important. It really and it's is. Kind of, it's kind of funny. We started the fundraiser early because I said to Sherry, I said, this is the way we think. Uh, we want to start early so we can get it done by November because there's other organizations going to be asking for money for Christmas too for their for their fundraisers. And we didn't want to infringe on their on their fundraising. Mm-hmm. So we wanted to get it done early. And and uh, so there's lots left over for other people to, to raise money for their causes. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, that's fantastic. So, yeah. and you have how much t- more time do you have? You wanted to, we obviously you wanted to get that that other 1400 today. Yeah. If we can make that happen. This so, is going on until we're doing this right up until November 15th when we draw. Okay. And All then right. the next, uh, we'll announce it here and then we'll post it on the page and so who won and everything like that. But I'll get the information and we'll ship it out. But yeah, we're doing this until the 15th. So we have roughly six weeks left. Roughly. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can help blow that right over that 10,000 mark. <laughs> yeah, these, and I, these guys are going to do that. I mean, they've done, they're professionals and uh, Dale and Sherry, and they've done a fantastic job at, at setting this all up. And I mean, they've made it pretty seamless for us on the island. We just talk about it and had to sign a couple hats and then we get to be a part of really the magic that they've made happen. So um, a lot it's, been a, the it's been a good experience and an eye opening experience, I think for everybody, because we're really fortunate and, uh, so it's nice to do something like this and then use social media as a positive flat platform to yep. spread the word. So it's been yeah. great. Yeah, absolutely. So, look, but look I do that. have to run. Um, I'm there. out with my little girl and uh, she's just hey. and, uh, so I'm <laughs> gonna go. and uh, I just want to say thank you again to everybody. You guys have been fantastic. I'm glad we could go on and do this. It really helps uh, push it and get the word out. So maybe we can get our 10 grand today and then well, keep on really, going. We really appreciate everything you've yes, done, Yes, thank you very much. It's, yeah. it's just blowing us away that this is going on. And, and I mean, we couldn't have asked for anything more. Yep. It's yep. just, it's amazing. Or any better people to work with. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Scott, who so was that with you there? Who'd you find? That was Doug Kroll. Doug, oh, Doug right. <laughs> uh, is Doug with you? <laughs> Scott? No, no it's me, him in Halifax. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> yeah. So, All right. well, Doug everyone have a great day. Time. Thank you again. I got to run. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, Steve. Appreciate well. you very much, sir. Fuck you, everybody. See, Thanks for all you're doing, see you, everyone. Jerry. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. All right. Bye-bye. Thanks again, everybody. Take yeah. care. Bye now. Right, we can help. See you guys. Bye. Bye. All right. Well, that was really cool for them to come yeah. on and talk about that. And we, and again, we appreciate them very much for all that they have done. And like I said, so, you know, this is a great cause. Tell us a little bit about your company, if you don't mind, real quick, while we have you here. Uh, Maritime, uh, I'm sorry, Maritime Tag. <laughs> Mar- 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 I knew I was going to mess that up. I was practicing saying that. Maritime Tartan Company. Yeah. Now, you guys, have. how long have you been doing this company? We have we were a different business until about three years ago when we switched over to uh, Maritime Tartan. We were doing, believe it or not, sock monkeys. And we decided to switch it. We had an order from the prime minister's office actually for a Nova Scotia tartan scarf. So we wow. made that and Sherry said, I like doing this. So we switched over to the um, tartan side, but just a little bit and people were more and more buying from us. So we decided to switch it over to completely tartan products. And uh, it's gotten beyond busy. And wow. so we did that in 2019 on tartan day. And uh, this is three years in now with this business. Wow. And, and I think that there's something that I, I read and I was trying to do a little bit of, of looking into this. I, you've done like 20 some thousand masks, right? That you've done for um, and, and, and donated or something like made or donated like $20,000 for them. Is how to, is that exactly? Well, that's I know up, my figures are probably off a little bit. I'm sorry. That's been, that's been updated. She's uh, you've done what? 25,000 close to. Yeah. About that. Yeah. And we've donated back 
including this fundraiser right now, over 40,000. Wow. To chair wow. to local charities. So and, we felt and it, if I remember correctly too, what I read is you sew all these yourself, right? Yes, I do. <laughs> and I've got a picture. Look at this hey, folks. And this, you know, I, I grabbed this picture. This is out on their website. Um, and I grabbed this picture just, and this is, you know, you, you see the pile of your, obviously you're making the masks here and you see the pile of these masks. And I, and I, and I had to say, you know, before we got started with the show, I said, this has to be just a very small portion of the workload that you're going through. <laughs> Am I right with that? Oh, normally my whole table's full. Wow. So you cleared most of it off for the picture probably. <laughs> yeah, there's a pile right next to us here. <laughs> yeah. Wow. But and we do other stuff. We do like blankets. We do scarves. We do mittens. mittens we do. Uh, oh my God. All table cloth table, sets. There's all sorts of stuff that we do. And it's just not just a couple of little things, but it's, it's gotten busy. We ship internationally. We ship all over the world. Uh, we actually just sent an order to Japan. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, you folks are really, really doing the right thing here by the donations. And I, and I know that I, you know, I was going to show it. I, I was looking at the, on the website, on your webpage there, all the donations and there, the list goes on and on and on of all the places that you guys uh, give to uh, from the business that you do. Um, it's just fantastic. And it, it really, that kind of thing, you know, comes from the heart. It really does. And I, my hat is off to you guys for this. You, you know, you obviously you put so much time and effort, the labor to do all this stuff and then turn around and donate so much money to these charities. And I, I, I'm, I'm looking at the list over here. It just goes on and on. Of course, Christmas daddies and new Waterford Legion. I mean, just, just so many different charities. That's just fantastic. Uh, you know. At the beginning of the month, we learned that there's kids going to school without school supplies. So I said to Sherry, I said, let's do a fundraiser for something to do. She said, okay, whatever. And uh, <laughs> again, <laughs> we ended up raising three thousand dollars, so we ended up buying a thousand dollars in back to school supplies for kids. We went to Staples, and there must be six shopping carts full. Anyway, we ended up buying enough to f outfit uh, 30 kids. Wow, and I said there's two thousand dollars left over, so my sister's a teacher in Cape Breton, so we end up giving her um, fifteen hundred dollars in gift cards so she could buy lunches for the kids that don't have anything at lunchtime normally, like mm -hmm. snacks and stuff like that. And the other 500 went to another local school so they could do the same sort of thing. So buy snacks for the kids that don't have anything. So we did that. And uh, I think we raised 3000 in a week. Yep. Wow. In, in just a week. Oh yeah. my goodness. That's yeah. crazy. We didn't offer anything. No, we offered one blanket. Yes. That was yes. just one blanket we offered as a draw. And uh, we ended up getting, yeah, we ended up getting about three grand back. Wow. And you must have a lot of stories like this of, you know, the places that you've donated to, um, and the, and the, you know, the, the happiness you brought to so many different places. I mean, uh, the, I can't imagine how many stories you have of like this. I think the best was the legions. So when we, when the pandemic hit here in Nova Scotia, a lot of the legions had to close. So a lot of them rely on their funding from bingos and stuff like that. And we've talked to a couple of them and one of them in particular, in my hometown was telling us, she said, yeah, we can't pay the insurance because we have no money coming in. I said, well, let's change that. So we get, we got some material with poppies on it. We contacted the Legion in Canada, the head office, and they said, yeah, go ahead. Because normally the poppy is copyrighted here, so you can't use it for anything unless you get written consent. So we told them what we want to do. I said, we're not keeping anything from this. We're going to give you 100% of the profit to local legions. And they approved it, which we were surprised at because they don't do that. So we ended up making poppy masks and donated. Um, we helped the first legion with $2,000 so they can get their insurance and open up so they could do something to get some money coming in. Mm -hmm. And then we contacted by another legion. We gave them a thousand and then it went another legion for a thousand. And then we picked another legion for a thousand. So we ended up giving, I think it was close to 5,000 to legions. It was 5,000 in total yes. for legions to help the veterans. I said, they were there for us when stuff happened. So it's time for us mm -hmm. to step up and, and help our veterans. So we right. gave them $4,000. Yep. And anyway, it's like one of the, the folks that are viewing watching right now is how Janet said, pay it forward. That's exactly right. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. that's it's, exactly right. At times like this, I mean, we, we, we donated quite a bit, but we kept like some of the money, most of the money went back into the product, like into buying fabric and elastic and shipping because we did free shipping and all the masks too. So we covered all the shipping for anybody that ordered masks. Wow. So it's just, we like helping people. I mean, we've helped food banks. We've helped legions. We've helped, you name it, shelters, homeless shelters, Christmas daddies, back to school lunches for kids. Uh, we bought oil for five families. We gave them, we had 2,500 bucks. We bought eating oil. Yeah. Yeah. Five tanks of oil for, for five wow. families in need after Christmas daddies last year. 
that's a huge gift right there. I mean, that pays yeah. back in so many ways. Oh my goodness, yeah. to keep them warm for the winter time. You bet. Oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah, and we bought. We, I mean, we bought quite. A, we've done quite a bit with the donations, eh? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's fantastic. You it only works. need so much for yourself, and the rest you should help other people if you can, in whatever way you can, whether it be money or time, but try to help others. Yeah, that's what it's all about is helping people. I mean, that's we like doing that. That's yeah. the main thing. Yeah. I'm just taking my GoFundMe here. I'm just trying to see what if there's anything happening. <laughs> oh, it's gone up a little bit. All right. Good deal. Yeah. I, I I was just at, gonna ask. I know Linda, she put the she put the um link up for um the maritime uh tartan company. And I was wondering, do we have the donation link up? I um, want to make sure that we get that up so that anybody that wants to donate, again, they're trying to get to that $1,400 uh, mark today, which will then with the donation that somebody has said that they would donate 1000 to that, that would put them right at their $10,000 yeah. uh, goal that they're trying to achieve. Right, so. now we're, right now we're at seventy-seven sixty-eight, so we need uh, about 800 bucks more. Wow. Eight hundred dollars. Come on, folks. We can do it. Yeah. No, it's not. I know with this and this once we get finished here, this will be out on YouTube, Twitch and also on our Facebook page. And we're going to link it around to the other places that we are allowed to. And hopefully that will help. So this will be out there on YouTube and the folks can watch it. And hopefully if we got the links out there, uh, let's see our groups. Uh, I'm looking to see what Linda's telling me here. Um, so hopefully we get the links out there that people can just click on that link and take them right to the donation. I know it's already on our Facebook group, but I'd like to get it uh, linked into the comments of our YouTube uh, channel on this as well, so that people Actually, can see down Jeff, below. Right now, to hit ten, to, for us to hit exactly ten thousand, we need one thousand two hundred thirty-two dollars. Okay. 1, and that there, that way, there once he makes his donation of a thousand, if we hit it today, it'll give us exactly ten thousand dollars. So that yep. that would be. A hundred children will have a full full Christmas. That's awesome. And it really still is. Five or six weeks to go with this fundraiser, too. Right. And that's not counting that what will happen from the hat, the one that's auctioned. That's going to probably go crazy as well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's going to bring in quite a bit. Oh, oh Ocon's quite popular here in Nova Scotia. Because <laughs> <it's> <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>